everyone welcome back to my channel this is cooking with tk today you guys i'm going to show you how i made some really tender ribs that you can actually pull the bone out of so the first thing i'm going to do is pull the skin off the back of the ribs that's right pull this skin off the back of the ribs because if you don't it's going to make your ribs really tough you just get your fingers under it and pull it with a paper towel that helps to get that skin off the back of the rib okay i mean membrane next um these are the seasonings that i am using i have them listed on the screen it's just some brown sugar some um rib rub by mccormick for your instant pot some garlic some ketchup and some black pepper and brown sugar i'm going to use some mustard and some honey for a binder the taste will not affect um the ingredients that you're placing on your ribs but you can use whatever rib rub you like in any way that you want but i'm going to give you the directions on how to cook it properly in your pressure cooker such as your ninja foodie or your instant pot okay now you are going to rub your ingredients well they tell you not to rub it pat in your seasoning okay so now you are going to place everything that needs to go inside of your pressure cooker i'm using my ninja foodie pressure cooker if you have an instant pot or an insignia um eight quart pressure cooker whatever type you have is fine i'm using some apple juice instead of water um if i were you um i would only use about two cups of apple juice in the ninja foodie as far as the instant pot use at least four cups of apple juice you are going to use some apple cider vinegar and you are only going to use about two tablespoons of the apple cider vinegar i'm adding some peppers to add and onions to add more flavor okay i'm going to add in two beef bouillons also adding you some liquid smoke okay i forgot to add in my liquid smoke i'm so sorry that i left that out on this video but please add in you some liquid smoke okay about two teaspoons and this is how you want to place your ribs in you want to place them with the bone side faced in you're going to place your lid on your pressure cooker and you are going to make sure that it is in the sealed position not the venting position okay now at this point we are going to turn our pressure cooker on i'm turning my ninja foodie pressure cooker on I'm hitting pressure is on high the correct setting and we are going to set our time for 25 minutes 25 minutes okay now per the instructions they tell you to do a natural release um, that's right go ahead and release it yourself that's what you want to do because if you don't they are going to be too tender and you don't want them extremely tender so that's why if you're using a ninja foodie I advise you to only use about two cups of the apple juice or beef broth. The apple juice made it really, really sweet. But if in my case, I would just use some beef broth or some water. Okay, so here's my rib. I really liked how these ribs turned out. I hope you guys give this uh, recipe a try. Uh, leave me lots of comments and tell me if you tried it you do not have to use the same exact ingredients I use use whatever ingredients you like but these are the settings for your ribs in your pressure cooker your instant pot or your ninja foodie whatever pressure cooker you have